Hello ladies. <clears throat> welcome back to Linda's Romper Room and welcome to my mess. I'm kind of not moving so great today. I think it's because I'm embarrassed to admit this, but my husband made some uh, mango daiquiris last night, and he made quite a, a, a like a pitcher, and he had to take off, so he wasn't helping me drink them. And I had them, and it was too much. It was too much. I won't do that again. I am not a drinker. I like those occasional sweet drinks. But it's not something I do on a regular basis. And, you know, I was at a friend's house and I had some, what do you call it? I had, uh, margarita and it tasted really good. And I thought, mm, we don't do that anymore. We did it a lot when we were first married. We would make like Brandy Alexander's and all kinds of things. I'd come home from work and my husband would have made a Brandy Alexander and had to quit that, put on too much weight. What I'm gonna do here is put a warming layer on this little girl and I want to share it because Amanda was having some problems with warming up a skin layer. So maybe this will help you, Amanda, even though you're using, um, Try to get this mess cleaned up a little. This is the artist artist desk for sure. Um, even though you're using water-based or acrylic, it should still help you. I hope. I'm still in my jammies. Just threw a robe on. that out. This is one of my favorite bowls. I don't know why, but I like using it. The only problem is if you have excess left over in here, it's hard to pour it out. It's like you need to do one at a time and then pour it out if you want to save it. So when you're painting a lot, it's really good to like make washes and keep them in jars like this. I haven't used this green wash in a long time. I don't remember what I used to use green wash for. This one needs to be thinned down. But you can put all your washes in these little containers from Ikea and store them that way, and that way you have what you need already mixed up. And it's nice when you're painting a lot. I don't think I need much of this. I want to get her warmed up because I want to send her off to my friend to get her finished rooting. So let me get this going. I had to pull her hair back and um, so I don't get it on her on her hair and all that. I don't know what effect that would have. And then I'll have to wet her hair before I put her in the oven. Wet it and soak it. But I gotta be careful because uh, she isn't sealed in the head yet. So, but uh, after I put her together, I noticed that she needed a warming layer. So we're going to do that and we're going to make it really thin, just a wash. You want it to barely have color, even if I have to do it, you know, a couple of times. I think this is all I'm going to have to do to get her the way I want. But I'm going to have to be like really, really careful how I do it because of this hair that's in here. 
but I think this is going to make a major difference in how she looks. It's really hard to keep it out of the hair. Oops. And I think I have to worry too much about the back. It's dripping already. This girl needs eyebrows too. <laughs> And I have to do that. I probably should do that before I send her off. So I don't have to like mess with it when she comes back. I need to get her matted too. <clears throat> so where's my sponge? Here's my sponge, hopefully. <clears throat> Sometimes you can put a little color on your sponge when you're pouncing too. So I'm just like hanging around home today and I, I canceled my dental appointment for cleaning and put that off and my husband agreed to take my dog to the vet to get his new, his shots because they won't groom him until I get his shots up to date. So we just pounce, pounce, pounce. I'm going to see if I can. It's getting on her hair. I think she has some loose hair that's starting to come out because it's not rooted. So I got to be really, really careful. Um. Monica was asking me how to pierce ears. It's really easy, you guys. Super easy. You just take your earrings. You might need to cut a little bit off the end of the post so that it doesn't poke through the ear. But I, what I do is I try to poke it in so it goes into the head. But you can cut a little bit off. If it's going to poke through, just pull it out, cut a little bit off. And you just need to push it in firmly and it'll go and you won't have any problem at all. And I have never had earrings turn the vinyl green. Somebody said they were worried about that. I have never had that happen. Um, the only thing I can say is, you know, make sure you want your doll as a girl before you do it, because you will possibly have a little bit of a hole if you don't. She's got some veining on her. That looks good. I'll be excited when I get this girl finished. I will. I'm just going to let that dry, wash off, and then <clears throat> I may come back and give her another layer. I'm going to write down what I do so that when I get, get her limbs apart, I remember to do what I need to do on the limbs. But hopefully this helps you. Actually, the color of this is the color of the wash I'm using. It's called Raw Sienna. I need to mark it again because the little labels end up coming off. And so I just wrote on the top what things were. Not that it really matters, I guess. But So I was, I guess if you're using a color wheel, which you can print this print this off of the internet you would want to mix uh, yellow and blue yellow and blue and that would give you the gold color that you need 
I think it, it probably depends on how much yellow and how much blue that you put in it to get this uh, color here or this color. So keep that in mind. So anyway, I hope this helped. I will do this. I won't come back doing this again for the sake of repetitiveness, but I will let you see when I have her done. Um, the coloring against my other Maddie, where you can see that her skin tone got warmed up. So I'm gonna say goodbye and uh, talk to you all later.